Hey, it's Justin Morrison here and today I'm reviewing the brand new Sony ZV-1 vlogging camera for BestBuy.ca. The Sony ZV-1 is a 20 megapixel, one inch sensor, non-interchangeable lens camera. It comes with a Vario Sonar T-Star lens, 24mm to 70mm equivalent focal length. It has a maximum aperture of 1.8 and this is a camera that is dedicated to vloggers. Sony want this camera to work well for content creators right out of the box. So I've taken them at their word. I've simply set up the camera, hit the record button and this is the result. Sony has gone all out to create a camera that is very easy to use, that has tons of very cool features specifically for those who are content creators but honestly I think this is a camera that is gonna work well for anybody who loves to shoot video and also wants to be able to shoot photos as well. Some of the cool features of the ZV-1 it has an excellent vary angle LCD screen which you can flip all the way to the forward position to allow you to get great images to make sure that you can see where you are in your frame, uh, that you can keep an eye on the important settings on the camera. You can also connect it to your smartphone or device using the uh, Imaging Edge app from Sony. This is a great way to run the ZV-1, especially in bright conditions where sometimes it's really hard to see the screen or even if you're a little bit further away from the screen and it's hard to make out, you can just attach your phone to the camera and get a wireless feed that way. Sony have designed the mic to give the best possible audio quality. It's a three capsule unidirectional mic which means that it captures audio right in front of the camera, not all around as many cameras do. They have an omnidirectional mic which captures a lot of background noise, which is not ideal. And when it comes to video, audio is so, so important. If the audio quality isn't good, it throws the whole thing right off. The ZV-1 also comes with a windscreen that you can attach on windy days. I tried to use it yesterday down at the beach, uh, the audio quality didn't quite work out and I'm going to let you take a look at some of the footage that I shot there and hear some of the audio quality. Hey, it's Justin Morrison here and today I'm reviewing the Sony ZV-1 vlogging camera on behalf of BestBuy.ca. The autofocus on the ZV-1 is second to none. You can turn on face and eye detection. But if you leave it even in the auto mode, it will figure out that you're shooting for a vlog and it will give you the best focusing options. Sony very kindly sent me this accessory to go with the ZV-1. It's a combination hand grip uh, and tripod. As you can see, it has a photo button, a movie button. It also has a button to control your zoom uh, and a customizable button as well as the lock button here. This is a really, really useful ZV-1. Uh, accessory that I would highly recommend to anyone who's interested in using this camera for vlogging, for content creation, or for any other purpose for that matter. The cool thing about this grip actually is that it connects wirelessly and remotely. Um, I can actually control the zoom. Let me see if I can do this. There you go. There is the zoom. I'm controlling it from the hand grip while the ZV-1 is not connected in any way. So it's wireless. I didn't even connect it by Bluetooth. I'm not sure how it connects, I'll be honest, but it is a very cool accessory. 
Some of the other cool features of the ZV-1, it's got a nice big record button right on top next to the traditional shutter button which lets you just start shooting your video very quickly, very easily. It also has a nice red light right on the front of the camera to let you know when your video is shooting so that you're not just standing there talking to a dead camera. One of the other cool features that I like about the ZV-1, it has a background defocus mode or a bokeh mode. Bokeh is huge in content creation. People love those blurred out backgrounds that really make the subject pop off the screen. There's a button right on top of the camera that lets you switch on that bokeh mode. Uh, let's try it out now. I'm gonna switch it on and off and you can see if you notice the difference. So there's the bokeh mode off and there's the bokeh mode on. The amount of value you're gonna get out of this is going to vary depending on light situations, depending on the background. The one I'm using is not brilliant, I'll be honest, to demonstrate this feature. But unfortunately, um, the battery died while I was using the camera. I'm currently charging it as I shoot. This is one of the cool things about Sony cameras. You can shoot with them while you're charging. Uh, this is important because often the battery life is not brilliant. I did find that the ZV-1, the ZV-1, I wasn't, I wasn't too thrilled, which we will say, with the um, battery life. But this is often a, a thing you're going to have to deal with with smaller cameras. But the fact that you can plug it right into a power supply and continue shooting is a really great thing. One of the other great features of the ZV-1 is image stabilization. Image stabilization can help you to get much smoother video and it's great that they've incorporated it into the ZV-1. However, I did notice that it's not turned on by default. I did get some very shaky footage when I was uh, walking along the pier by the beach yesterday. So make sure you turn it on as soon as you get the camera. The ZV-1 also shoots stills, of course. And here's a selection of images I was able to make with the ZV-1. Sony wanted to make sure that Every type of skin tone would be well captured by the ZV-1. So they've worked on some very specific color science, whatever that means, uh, in order to ensure that all skin tones look great with the ZV-1. The other thing they've included is a skin softening setting. So I'm gonna try that out right now. You can see if you can tell the difference. Let's see how that works out. So this is just me, but maybe I should get a bit closer. Here I am, a little bit too close to the camera probably, but I'm gonna switch on the skin softening feature and you can see if you notice the difference. So there it is, the skin softening feature turned on. I also set it to high, there is three settings. You can set it to low, medium or high. I put it on high and here's the result. One of the disappointing things about the ZV-1 for me, when you're in front of the camera as I am now, it's very hard to change your menu settings. Despite the fact that this, the LCD screen flips all the way forward and is a touch screen, you cannot navigate the menus or change your settings via the touch screen. I think Sony have kind of missed a beat here. Um, this would have been a really handy feature for vloggers to be able to stay in front of the camera and change settings. Unfortunately, you can't do that. I have to say I really enjoyed working with the ZV-1. I think it's a fantastic camera. It's inherited a lot of features from the RX100 series of compact cameras from Sony, which I absolutely love. It's a very easy camera to use. The ergonomics are great. Sony has deliberately simplified the camera to make it easy to use. And I think they've done a fantastic job here. I think vloggers are going to love this camera. I think anyone who likes to shoot video is going to love this camera. 
and get a lot of mileage out of it. I'm Justin Morrison on behalf of the Best Buy blog. Peace out.